you everybody for coming. I do want to tell you that I do have my notes. I used a big font in case I didn't have my glasses. Now do. So anyways, okay. I'm, I'm pretty much going to read mine. Um, I'm going to start off with my dad and um, my brother. This is um, some of the things that I remember. Um, I'm kind of just guessing about the timeline. I think I was probably about five years old because I know my brother went off to the service fairly soon after that. But I remember going and taking the walks downtown um, in New Hall, and I remember, and two things that I remember about the walks, and I'm really nervous. Um, two things about the walks is first, when you know, when you have a child walking between you, you, they take your hand, and when you get to the curb, they swing you off the curb, and then you get to the next curb, and they swing you back up on the curb. Um, so I remember that, and then I remember um, going, I think it was the Ford dealership, and they had those big metal letters on the wall. And we would go by and it was just a big game. We'd always just go and pound on those letters. So we drove as we walked by on, on our walk. Um, oh, talking about the Saga's Cafe, I know that my dad and I used to go to the Saga's Cafe. I've heard stories that they thought I was his granddaughter and that really irritated him. <laughs> um, and then he always sit him straight and said, no, it's, you know, my daughter. But the other thing I remember about the Saga's Cafe is there was a barber next door. And oh, it's John the Barber. It's John the Barber. I have no idea why, but Dad took me there to get my hair cut. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it was the same week he bought me these black boy's shoes. So I don't know if that might have something to do with Tommy, Tomcat. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Um, Another thing I remember about my dad is when we went on a train trip across the United States. It took us four days to get across the United States on a train. Um, we had a dome liner, so you could go upstairs and you could sit upstairs and look out over and look at the view and all that, and that was the big highlight of the train. Um, but on the way back, we got on the wrong train. Okay. <laughs> and the way we found out that we were on the wrong train is we went up to that dome liner that we were sitting in going back east, but on the way back, when we got up there, it had like white linen tablecloths and like fine china and silver and silverware, and we're like, this is not our turn. <laughs> um, and then luckily our train was only like 10 minutes behind, so we were able to get on the right train. Um, uh, the other thing I remember is, you know, uh, my dad picking me up every uh, Wednesday after school. Um, when he would come up to visit, he'd pick up me and uh, usually my friend Kathleen, and we'd go to High Chick and we'd see Sam. We'd have hamburgers, um, the chocolate shake, and we'd uh, make the rounds to go visit my sisters and their kids and their husbands. Um, the other thing, and like you saw in the video, was um, the camping trips at Carpinteria. He bought this postal van that he, you know, kind of changed into his own little miniature RV had a drop down bunk and I don't know what the toilet was, I think it was that cone thing in a coffee can, which was really just for him, <laughs> it was not for the girls. <laughs> um, and then the other thing too is when he used to come up and he had the, that, I think it was a blue Valiant or Plymouth, Plymouth Valiant and he used to take me back on Raymer Street and teach me how to drive. And then we can touch on driving and talking about cruising on Van Nuys Boulevard. Um, Mom has heard this story before, and I don't know if everybody else has heard it, but when, when my mom got a job at Magic Mountain, she used to work nights, and she used to carpool. So her car was always left at home. Well, I decided to get a key made. I was fairly young. I think I was around 14, maybe 15. So I got this key made. And uh, I also cruised Van Nuys Boulevard in her, in her, uh, that car, the Impala. The Impala. In the Impala. In the Impala. And then, and then, get this, we, we drove it, and I forgot to get gas. So when I parked it, it was empty. So what I did is I took the gas cap off and put it on the ground so that it looked like it just got siphoned because I had to think of a way. And I told my friend, Pearl, don't tell her, you know, just leave it go. Well, Pearl, of course, comes up with this bright idea that, hey, maybe you should get a locking gas cap. So now I'm looking at her thinking, now I've got to get a key to the gas cap also so I can take the car. 
But anyways, that's not on my notes, but I just had to comment on that. Okay, so that's my memories of Dad. Um, my memories of my mom, of course, the same ones that everybody else has about sewing. Um, she uh, taught me how to sew. I can remember her sitting with me um, when I was 11, um, making my first dress. And um, I also can remember the Valentine's Day cookies um, that she made you know, for the class and wrote all the names on it. And like my sister Joan, I did carry that on maybe once or twice, but that was it. I never did it more than that. Um, the other thing I remember is the fashion shows that we had at, I think it was, I don't know if it was New Hall Elementary, I think it was New Hall Elementary School. And our parents would make us our clothes and we'd have these actual fashion shows where you know, a bunch of people would come and they'd talk about the fabric and the, just everything about it. Um, I also remember the Thanksgiving dinners and, and, going, and Christmas and going to Aunt Rosalie's for Christmas. Um, I also remember taking um, Tahitian dancing lessons and my mom being there and going to all of my performances when I was doing that. And, um, and now, that I'm, now that I'm older, what I wanted to comment on both of them was, and I thought this was kind of cute, it's, it's um, you guys both, you know, you, both, you know my parents, my mom always goes to the doctor, you know, she's always gone to the doctor, she's always ate healthy, she's exercised, and yet my dad never went to the doctor, didn't want to go to the doctor, didn't want to know if it was any kind of an illness or anything. So it's just, to me, that just shows it doesn't really matter if you go to the doctor or you don't go to the doctor. You, you can really live a long time. Um, and the other thing is, is both of my parents will fight for something that they think is right. I mean, my mom went marching into the New Hall Signal editor's office not too long ago to, you know, voice her opinion on something that she felt strongly about. And my dad, just like two weeks ago, did the same thing with uh, the curbs. Anyways, I just want to say thank you, and that I love you both very much, and I'm so thankful that you are both still here.